Well, folks, a lot of people are mad, and the show tonight is packed, y'all. We're gonna get right into it. Drop a thumbs up because coming in at our number 14 spot. So, Sony came out and they have released a brand new update for PlayStation 5, and we got the Discord integration. It is now live. And one guy came out and so said, Does this mean that I can just go on Discord on my PS5 and message groups and whatnot? I tested Discord during the beta. You can join the call with your phone or computer, then you make the switch to transfer to your PS5. You cannot actually choose what server, group call, or message anyone straight from the PS5. And then my guy responds by saying that Steve's kind of boring. Yeah. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely love to see it. Toxic gamers, okay? And Sony also ended up releasing the 7 point update and we got the patch notes. You can surely pause the video and read all of that. I mean, wireless device. I guess the homies love wireless device, ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. And guys, this story will get you mad. I actually live to tell you these stories, okay? Definitely subscribe, guys. Clench your butt cheeks because we're hearing that this topless mate is paid over two grand per day. To clean houses. Bruh. I mean, damn, son. Like, I know you sitting out there with your dumbass. I'm sitting with my dumbass out here. What are we doing here, guys? Like, are we just here to suffer? I don't know, man. I mean, damn. Yo, can a brother get like two pennies or something? Because let's keep a buck fifty. I don't even blame her, ladies and gentlemen. I blame those beta meal cucks out there that are spending two grand. Get yourself a wife, bozo. I wanna know what y'all be thinking on the situation, but check this out, guys. So the homie Pio came out, homie Sony Pony, Mr. Pio. Sony is planning their biggest event ever. The next PlayStation Showcase will blow your balls off, okay? I'm not sure about this one, Kaji, because let's be real, gamers, as uh, toxic gamers, they wanna label you and me as toxic gamers, and as gamers, ladies and gentlemen, our balls are constantly busted, okay? <laughs> Unfinished games, fake CGI trailers, microtransactions, live services and the game comes out comes out and finish okay and five months later they cut the support modern warfare 2 this is exactly what 3000 call of duty devs have been making right we love to see it but ladies and gentlemen surely we're hearing that there will be a massive playstation showcase i love to hear the news but will it actually blow our balls off i'm not sure about this one we're hearing that it's gonna have the wolverine gameplay it's gonna have that spider-man 2 reveal it's probably also gonna have uncharted maybe maybe not because i recently Naughty Dog said that they are not the ones working on it, but the leaks and the rumors are saying that it's another studio working on it. And Sony also dropped that ad with that Spider Man 2. And alongside that, there was also footage that was hinting at the fact that it was Uncharted because we actually had a baddie, uh, may or may not be looking like a snack uh, depending on your preferences. But uh, the goal is to put every E3 and showcase prior to shame. And a lot of people are hella suspect with the story, and uh, rightfully so. We got the bot patrolling in the chat uh we got the homie destin said it's yours for them blow your balls off quote please yeah no problem twitter user mr pie <laughs> yeah ladies and gentlemen sources my balls okay but for real for real we're hearing that there will be a showcase and in that we're gonna have spider-man 2 if that doesn't have spider-man 2 when exactly are they gonna reveal that right they are saying that it's coming out this year so it has to be there guys we also ended up getting a brand new trailer for bethesda game studios uh, this is their trailer for starfield and let me tell you man a lot a lot of people are shaking people are doing helicopters with their willies uh except for the homie uh, oh my god oh my god I, I, i'm not shaking except for the homie dreamcast guy right i've seen his video and he doesn't feel like he's a like, yeah you know what i'm saying we got a lot of sony ponies patrolling guys we got a lot of the xbox patrolling there are a lot of homies doing helicopters with their willies there are a lot of homies uh doing uh backflips while being on wheelchairs i mean damn son ladies and gentlemen we gotta wait okay slow your rolls pump the brakes okay we do not know if this game is gonna be a banger we do not know okay broken promises is the the, the second name of these uh gaming companies out here but it does look promising i mean 1000 planets i mean wow oh my god oh my god i'm shaking, oh, I'm shaking. however the game is also getting delayed to which the homie daniel says i ripped to all the fans outside of the u.s who thought it was june 9th i cannot be the only one and i want to know what your sony pony mind think on this situation i want to know what your bot mind think on the situation because the game was supposed to come out in june but now it's getting delayed to september it's not a massive delay and let's keep a buck 50 guys every game nowadays gets delayed it, it, it gets announced then it gets delayed then it gets announced and it's it, it gets delayed it would be a shocker the day rockstar games comes out uh, announced gta 6 released it and it would be a shocker if they announce it and they do not delay <gasps> that will be a shocker because i guess that everybody's already expecting gta 6 to come out in 2025 and be delayed to 2077 ah! Ah! 
Bethesda's like it's so epic. Oh my god, guys, that's so cosmic. Oh, goosebumps. Uh, looking forward to another Bethesda universe to explore. Starfield looking so promise. Hope it delivers that. As a teacher, the release date couldn't be at a worse time. So as you can see, a lot of gamers out here doing backflips while being on a wheelchair, ladies and gentlemen. It do be kind of like that sometimes. We also ended up getting this brand new Unreal Engine 5 gameplay for uh, the, the finals. And a lot of people are actually loving this. In fact, I'm one of those guys. And look at this game, man. It's looking way better than Modern Warfare 2. Looking way better than Battlefield 2042. It has that Call of Duty, Battlefield, and also Fortnite vibe to it. Like, it's kind of like a mixture. And it has some new elements into it. It's not too out there. It's not too outlandish. But it's also, it, it feels kind of fun. And every YouTuber that got to play early, I was not able to play early, guys. But a lot of YouTubers that got to play early, they're saying good things about about it but at the end of the day they wouldn't be saying anything bad right let's keep a buck 50 because if they say anything bad about it then the, the next second they will get shot down they will not be invited out to play early but genuinely the game is looking good and i and i believe when they say they had fun because the game is looking fun but the fact of the matter here is that is this game gonna be fun a week from now is this game gonna be fun once you get to play and uh, is, is it gonna be fun like a month after you first initially played you know what i'm saying because it happens every single time right we got a new fps game you play it for a week you play it for a month and then you do not even want to play anymore and surely they got the operators as well at least they do not have an operator like this but honestly it does look good and i really hope this game bangs y'all i really hope this game succeeds because if this game succeeds battlefield call of duty they would have to do better and speaking of call of duty check this out right so the homing prestigious key made a video definitely check it out but apparently activision confirmed that call of duty mobile was developed and is owned by timmy studios a subsidiary of tencent any any speed out of the game would dare for Call of Duty Mobile is expected to be phased out over time outside of China with the launch of Warzone Mobile. This story is so wild out there because a lot of people went into coma. A lot of the Call of Duty Mobile players, they just couldn't even compute, right? They have been playing Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, I mean, this is the gaming setup for those uh, mobile gamers, right? Ladies and gentlemen, it is a tough night. Uh, definitely drop those rips in the, in the chat out here. And a lot of the console players, they started shaking. They started doing helicopters with their woolies, but not so fast fast kings because listen when i first heard the story i was also debating i was also trying to compute this i was also thinking that what if this is about them activision prioritizing call of duty for console and pc that's exactly what i thought i thought that modern warfare 2 is what's gonna get their priority but that's not true you see because we're talking about call of duty oh, shit. battlefield oh, shit. they got rid of apex legends on mobile they cut the battlefield mobile game but they did that so they can prioritize battlefield 2042 and the next battlefield game that they already confirmed that it's gonna be having the campaign it's gonna be having the multiplayer they already have confirmed the next battlefield game is it gonna be bad coming three is it gonna be battlefield i'm not sure but at least ea they're saying that they're prioritizing battlefield on console but however activision is getting rid of call of duty mobile because they got a new hot check on the market by the name of warzone mobile ladies and gentlemen just clap it up man they are doing this for call of duty warzone okay not because they want to save call of duty not because they want to actually prioritize call of duty on console so yeah guys uh, another l for activision call of duty mobile being removed will be the final nail in the coffin for me no Activision, why Activision is removing Call of Duty Mobile? They are removing because they want to make more money with Call of Duty Warzone on mobile. I mean, damn, man. This company, man, a lot of people are crying in the chat. A lot of people also wanted to do helicopters, thinking that they're finally going to be prioritizing Call of Duty for console. But guys, uh, that's, uh, that's not <laughs> And this story is 10 times wilder than Johnny Sins movies. Guys, uh, I, I got you, okay? Sony ponies, Xbox, I got you, okay? Sony says Microsoft Call of Duty agreement is not viable and that they are asking for too much money to have Call of Duty on PlayStation Plus when Microsoft gets to pick and choose what to do and Sony they're essentially saying that guys like uh, block the deal uh, we do not want Activision to be acquired by Microsoft I want to know your thoughts on it and uh, Sony is kind of worried if the Call of Duty goes on Game Pass a lot of people would choose to buy Xbox and uh, Sony concerns here are, are genuine like let's be real right you, do you want to pay $60 or do you want to pay $15 a month and $15 a month can be expensive in the long run versus 60 or $70 or I should say $70 games are not even $60 like but the fact of the matter here is that 
Game Pass is $15 a month. So a lot of Call of Duty gamers, a lot of the toxic gamers would migrate to Xbox is what Sony's saying. I wanna know your thoughts on it because also Sony directly calls out Microsoft for their actions during the Bethesda deal, even includes direct quotes from Microsoft executive. And the situation here is that Sony caught Microsoft with their pants down and guys, you're not gonna believe this one, okay? And I quote, we highly encourage cross-platform play because if it's good for gaming ecosystem, it's good for us. We don't have intentions of just pulling all of Bethesda content out of competitor. <laughs> I mean, damn, man, like Microsoft, y'all really didn't do that. And that's the crazy part, right? Because initially when they purchased Bethesda, I'm not into Bethesda games, guys. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to Starfield. It's looking like it's going to be a big game. It's looking like it's going to be good. But if it's not a banger, I I'm not like ha heavily invested into Bethesda games. In fact, with Activision, I'm only invested in Call of Duty. Other than that, I really do not care, okay? I don't care for the moms out here that be playing Candy Crush. Okay? In fact, my mom plays Candy Crush. Bruh. Huh. But that's besides the point, right? Because check this out. Also, Sony has submitted new documentations to the CME worrying that Microsoft could meddle with Call of Duty on PlayStation to make it unappealing to play on. My guy, at this point, just accept the deal, let the deal go through, or just completely block it. I'm tired of being tired, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure you're tired of hearing this story as well. This has been going for a year, and the only homie that's covering this is Destin, okay? He'd be covering this every single day, guys. But apparently, Sony is worried Xbox will find ways to sabotage Call of Duty on PlayStation, and they, they say this, guys. You're probably gonna be sent into coma, and if anybody gets offended here, guys, I'm just covering the news, okay? This is not my words. If anybody gets offended, and if you know, I, I mean, you're a chat you're not gonna get offended but if you see anybody getting offended send them this device free of charge okay all you gotta do is smash the like button and hit the bell okay and you can send them this device free of charge get on me it's on me ladies and gentlemen it's on me microsoft might release a playstation version of call of duty where bugs and errors emerge only on the game's final level or after later updates even if such degradations could be swiftly detected any remedy would likely come too late by which time the gaming community would have lost confidence in playstation as a go-to venue to play call of duty Guys, I'm actually putting my hands together, okay? Focus on making new games. Where, where are the new games at, man? The gaming scene has been drier than Sahara Desert, but in a way, Sony kind of have a good concern, right? Because they are saying that once Xbox has acquired Call of Duty, they're gonna be using that as marketing, and understandably and rightfully so. If you have acquired, you're gonna be having those marketing, you're gonna say like, Call of Duty plays best on Xbox. They're gonna do that, and what Sony's saying here is that if it goes through, apparently Microsoft can do a thing where they release an inferior Call of Duty version full of bugs, full of error messages on the PS5. We've seen that, we've been through that, right? Activision, let's be real, Microsoft don't even have to do that. Activision will be doing that themselves, okay? They are the ones that are releasing the games unfinished, but it seems like a genuine concern. Let me know what you think on it, on that. But apparently Lulu is not stopping, okay? She gotta keep that foot on a leash, guys, because apparently she's putting her foot on the accelerator and she's letting that thing roll every day, guys. Because apparently Lulu just blew that lid off. I'm not even sure if she was supposed to say this, but says that the CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment answered that questions in Brussels in his words and I quote I I don't want a new Call of Duty deal I just want to block your merger Damn. also Battlefield 2042 and code vein Minecraft dungeons are now free uh, starting today on PlayStation Plus everybody just clap it up man can a brother now perhaps get to see Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 being free. Special like button if you agree. Also, this past week, GTA 6 leaks are going crazy, right? We have heard a ton about GTA 6. We're hearing about the release date. We also did hear that GTA 6 is not gonna be on last gen consoles. <gasps> And quickly after, a lot of the last gen users, they went into coma, they just couldn't even compute the fact that Rockstar will kinda do this. And now a lot of the PS5 and the Series X and even the PC players, they started doing backflips on the wheelchairs, guys. And we're also hearing that Leaker reveals GTA 6 release day target, and we're surely hearing that they are targeting 2024, holiday 2024, however, it can be further delayed to early 2025. Tom says that it's most likely gonna be coming out by the end of 2025, and there was a ton of other gameplay leaks as well. I covered all of that in this video check this video out guys or click the video on the left because that game is apparently free now check these videos out guys and i will see you right there